Hi guys, welcome to our channel. This is Archie the Cockatiel, and I am Archie's mom, Stacy. and today we're gonna be going to the bird store to do some Christmas shopping for the birds. Um, Toodles and Archie are also gonna be getting their nails trimmed, so you can see Toodles in the background there buckled in. It's about a three hour drive, so we will check in with you once we get to the store to do some shopping. Hey guys, so today we're going to the bird store varieties in Valley Park, Missouri so that we can do some Christmas shopping for the birds. So I also brought Toodles here so she can get her nails trimmed. And then we've got Archie all buckled in. So it should be a fun trip today. I am wearing my Christmas shirt to get into the holiday spirit. And then I also have my mask, which my mom made. It has the Grinch on it. So we are all in the spirit for Christmas shopping. So I hope you like the video.
All right, so we got a lot of great things at the bird store today. Archie didn't really want to spend much time picking out his toys because he was in kind of a bad mood from getting his nails and beak done. I think he took my Grinch mask a little too literally. So he kind of had a little bit of an attitude at the store, but by the time we get home, I'm sure he'll be much more cheery and back to his normal personality. So we'll go ahead and head home. It's about three hours home, and then we will show you our haul. Hi, Arch. Hello. All right, so after a long drive home, we are finally here. So let's, yeah? You know, tell them about your trip. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. That's one of our new favorite games to play is peekaboo with the reflection. You're so good at it. Peekaboo. Let's take a look at all the great stuff we got. Now we got a little bit of something for everyone. All right, so let's start with Archie's toys first. Now I'm not worried about these being a surprise for Christmas because, well, he was with me when we were shopping, so it's okay. Santa may bring him some extra stuff he doesn't know about. Yeah? All right, so I got him some small toys because when I start this new job I may be doing, um, I may be working from home and he's going to be in my office with me probably a lot. We'll see how it works out. But I wanted to get a lot of toys for that play stand to keep him busy. So um, some of these can also fit in his cage too, but I was trying to get several small ones that would be really good for the play stand. So he has a big version of this. It's like a foraging box. So it's got like crinkle paper in it, wood flowers on there, and some other things, and some of whatever this material is. Um, this is by Fun Max Bird Toys. And this is called Fun Box 2 is what the tag says. So this will be a nice small version so he can have his big version in the cage. And this one can be on his play stand to play with. Now, of course, for Christmas, we need a Christmassy toy for him. So I got him a little Christmas tree. Yeah, you excited about this one? He might get this one early because he needs a Christmas tree in his cage, of course. Um, I don't have a Christmas tree up in my apartment this year because there's just not enough room. Um, kind of the sacrifice that I've made with all of the tree stands that I have in the apartment. But also, I'm working on converting my physical movie collection, which was well over 400 movies, to digital movies so that I can get rid of my giant media cabinet. And that way, I'll have enough space to move some of the tree stands against the wall so I'll have more space in the apartment for the dogs to play around. Um, but also so at Christmas time I can kind of shift things so that I'll be able to put up a Christmas tree. So, But we're not quite there yet. I should have everything converted to digital by next Christmas. So we'll have a real Christmas tree next year. But for now, I've got this. And then I also have a ceramic one that my mom painted for me last year that we are going to have to take some pictures of you with. How about that? Yeah. So stay tuned on our Instagram for that because I'm sure I'll post those. So yeah, so a Christmas tree. So this Christmas tree is by Super Bird Creations. And it is just called Mini Xmas Tree. Alright, so the next toy is also by Fun Max Bird Toys. This one is called Timbo. And this one has cardboard and beads on it and little wood slats and different things. So I thought this would be good to put in his cage, but it's also small enough that this could go on his tree stand, so it can really go in either place. Now, these 
aren't all Christmas presents because we did need some of these. So I don't want everyone to watch the video and think that Archie got a lot more presents than everyone else. Those are the three toys that I picked for his Christmas present. Um, each bird got three things basically. So just to show you the other things I got for his tree stand. You want to sit over here? Where you going? Um, I got him this little pineapple thing. It's like a little foraging pineapple, so this can go on his tree stand as well. It's very small, which is perfect for the tree stand because you don't, this particular tree stand that I have, you don't want to hang a lot of really big toys on it or there won't be any room for Archie. So you want to get some pretty small toys for it because there's a lot of room for toys. So. I think he'll like this. He likes to kind of pick at shredding toys. I could also tuck some things inside the pineapple. All right, and last but not least for his tree stand, I got him one of these little flowers. It's pretty small. I'll hold it next to Archie just for size comparison. So it's a little toy flower. This is also gonna be perfect for the tree stand as well. Once I get his tree stand all set up with my office area, I will definitely make a post about that on our Instagram, so don't forget to check that out. But this should be a lot of fun for preening and keeping him busy. He can shred the petals of the flower because it's like a woven material, so I think he'll really like this. This is by Planet Pleasures, and this is called Sunflower Small Single because they have a lot of other sunflower bits on some of their toys. All right, and then for a seed treat for Archie, I got him three strips of millet. These are just for treats, and he doesn't get a whole one in his cage. I cut it into small pieces, and they're just special treats that he gets. Um, if I was going to do more training with him, they would be perfect for training. I don't recommend hanging a huge piece of millet in your bird's cage. Otherwise, it's so yummy. That's all they would eat. They wouldn't eat anything else because millet is kind of like candy for birds, I would say. Yeah. So definitely just an occasional treat or a great training treat. All right, moving on to the other birds. So for Evie, this is one of her toys that I got her. It is also by Planet Pleasures. And this is a pinata, a parrot pinata. Does that, oh here it is, for the name of it. It is called Rainbow Pinata Diagonal Medium. Great name. Um, so it's just kind of a fun pinata. It's got like some pieces of wood there at the top, whatever that is. And then a lot of woven material for her to shred and rip open. I like to hang toys towards the bottom of her cage because she does like to play on the bottom of her cage. So this will hang at a really good level for her to be able to preen the bottom but also tear apart the rest of it. So she'll have a blast with this. All right, also for Evie, I wanted to give her a new platform perch. I got her one from Hoot and Holler Bird Toys. It's like a foraging platform perch and she loves it. So I decided to get her another platform perch. It's a corner one. It's also by Fun Max Bird Toys. So it's got the connectors here. So you just put that in the corner and then she'll be able to sit on there. Um, yeah, and rest her feet. So I think she'll really like this in her cage because she really seems to like the other one. What do you think? He just got a new platform perch from Hoot and Holler. That's on our Instagram if you haven't checked that out. It has Yoshi on it, super cute. Yeah. All right, so next toy for Evie is the seagrass mat full of paper. It has some wood on there for her to chew on. As you can see, it's by Superbird Creations. This one is called Mini Foraging Pouch. Now this is also a good size for like Jackie, but I got it for Evie. It'll be one of the bigger toys in her cage. So she'll really like this. She just loves to shred things and um, you'll hear her make all kinds of crazy noises while she plays with toys. So I'm sure I'll hear lots of growling at this toy. All right, and for Evie's last toy, this one is also by Fun Max Bird Toys. They make some really good toys. I didn't realize I got so many by them. 
Um, but it's got cardboard in this really cool pattern. Wood blocks at the top. Let me show you. So there's wood up there and on the bottom. And then these, it's not twine, but I don't know what else to call it. Like some kind of paper, bird safe paper that's all twisted and kind of thick that she can chew up. So I'm sure she'll love that. And this is called Small Tower. All right, and then in between Evie and Jackie's toys, I'll show you the treats that I got them. Um, because they eat the same treats. I got a lot of these. Did you just poop on me? It's okay. Alright, so the Kaitek Baked Birdie Munchies. They absolutely love these. They have a lot of new flavors. So this is the Veggie Delight. This is one of their original flavors. I really like to give this to them because it really sneaks in those veggies in a tasty form for them. I call it their cookie. <laughs> So when I ask them if they want a cookie, they get really excited and they actually smell really good. They smell kind of like an oatmeal cookie. And then this is their new packaging. So still Kaitech Oven Fresh Bites. This is the coconut papaya. They absolutely love this flavor. They go crazy for it. So definitely recommend. These only run about $5.99. They're not very expensive. Um, they each get one cookie and they hold it with their claw and kind of take their time eating it. They still eat it pretty quick within a matter of like five minutes or so. But this one has oatmeal, vegetable shortening, rice syrup, millet flour, oat flour, honey, flax, shredded coconut, diced papaya, whole dry egg, whey, and vitamin E. So that is what's in here. Seems to have good ingredients. I mean, vegetable shortening and... The rice syrup I'm not so sure about. I'm sure those are just for binding the materials together, but everything else sounds really good. All right, and because two isn't enough, because they'll go through these quick, I also want to be prepared in case like things start to shut down again because they're starting to get kind of bad around here. I wanted to stock up for sure. So um, Oven Fresh Bites Parrot Cookies again. This one has an adorable ring neck on it. It's banana nut, which they have not tried this flavor, so I think that Jackie will really like it because she loves bananas and she loves nuts. So this should go over very well for her. And then lastly, this is another flavor they absolutely love. This one is mixed berries. This is a really good one. This one has, once again, oatmeal, vegetable shortening, rice syrup, millet flour, oat flour, honey, flax, Cranberries, dehydrated blueberries, whole dry egg, whey, and vitamin E. And it says, oven fresh bites. Parrot cookies are slowly baked with natural human grade ingredients. These treats contain no added sugar and no artificial color, which of course I just read the ingredients and we know because none of those were listed. So I really like these. I would recommend. Kitex seems to be a great brand. All right, so for Jackie's toys, I got her a giant one of those box cubes, like I got the really small one of Archie's, just to compare. Alright, so here's Jackie's, and here's Archie's for comparison. And then I have the one that's in between these sizes too for Archie. So, but I can put different treats inside of there. There's the wood pieces, like this part, these like paper, twine thingies. So yeah, I think that'll be fun, the crinkle paper in here for her to have to pick through. So this is called Fun Box 4 Inch. So they just name it based on the size of the cube, so. All right, and for Jackie's other Christmas present, I got this. Once again, this is by Fun Max Bird Toys. Like I said, they have really good toys. Um, this one is called Pizza Small 6 Inch. I didn't even see that it was called Pizza but I love pizza, so it's like it was meant to be. So it's basically a square piece of cardboard covered in different wood pieces. Once again, with this kind of twine material. It also has this, so that's another good one there. My birds really like cardboard, I'm noticing. All right, and then lastly for Jackie, this probably looks very familiar because she's had several of these. She loves to shred paper, really good for her so she's not picking at her feathers. She absolutely loves these, so I figured I would get another one. Now you could just refill the paper if they don't destroy the donut part, 
Um, she sometimes goes crazy and destroys the donut. Other times I can just refill the paper, but it doesn't hurt to buy the whole thing just in case that happens. Once again, Super Bird Creations, and this is called Tape Dispenser. He definitely wasn't like this at the bird store after he got his nails and beak done. But look how nice your beak looks. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that beak. Looks so shiny. And your nails look good. Handsome man. Okay. Now let's look at more toys. You want to sit here? There you go. There you go. Okay, so for Toodles the Canary, I got her, she loves to play with paper and like preen things. So I got her this. This is by Superbird Creations. It has a vine ball on it, paper, and then this like kind of raffia style material there with some beads. So she'll love pulling the paper out of that, I'm sure, and then preening this bottom part. And Archie just wants to play with the tag. Alright, so that's one of her toys. Then I got her another toy by Superbird Creations. This is called Crinkle Crinkle Little Star. And as you can see, it has these little vine stars on the top. And then it has um, a small vine ball. You can barely even see it because there's like so much paper. You can barely see that vine ball. It's got a little bell on it, so I thought this would be fun for her to play with too. Okay, now technically I did not get this for Toodles at the bird store. I got this on Amazon, but it's one of her three toys and I didn't want you guys to think that I shorted her on toys. So I just wanna show you this other thing that I got her. This is the Sunseed Vita Prima swing ring. She absolutely loves these. They used to be pretty inexpensive on Amazon. But then they stopped making them for a while and I couldn't find them anywhere. And then they put them back up and instead of being $5 with free shipping, it was like $9. And it wasn't Amazon Prime, but there was technically free shipping. So but it had like doubled in price, but she loves these. So I figured it was worth it for Christmas. I would spoil her a little bit and spend the extra so she could have her swing ring. She chews all of the seed and spinach and all that other stuff that's on it and then she uses it like a swing. She'll sit inside of it. Now this says that it's a grass seed and spinach topping. It's a crunchy baked biscuit treat wrapped around a real softwood ring with a delicious grass seed and spinach topping. Hang in your bird's cage with the attached clip and watch them dive in. It has yellow millet, ground wheat, rye, grass seed, ground corn, dehydrated spinach, calcium carbonate, turmeric for color, lecithin, honey, and paprika. So nothing really bad in this, um, especially for a songbird. All right, now last but not least, here's our three things for BB. So for BB, I'm kind of getting her into more of like the shredding and tearing apart toys. So I got her this little pouch, has some pretty flowers on it, the finger traps and then paper she can shred. This is by Superbird Creations and this is called Pocket Rocket. I don't know if they thought that through when they designed this. They might want to change the name of that. If you're an adult, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, anyway, so <laughs> this is for BB for Christmas. All right, noticing a trend here. This one is also by Super Bird Creations. It is called Pinwheel. This one also has paper, this really cool um, palm leaf material, also with beads and things. So this should be fun to hang in her cage. It's also very colorful. 
I like to buy her things with purple because she's a green bird and I really like the combination of green and purple together. Um, kind of reminds me of the Joker, which I like, but I also just like the color combination. So if I ever have a choice in a color scheme, I like to go with the purple and the green. And her absolute favorite thing in the world, Yo Dips. Now these are by Katie, which is one of those brands that some people in the bird world really don't like. Um, these aren't the greatest as far as, you know, things that are, that are in it like sugar and stuff. But she absolutely loves these and she just gets a sprinkle of them um, every couple of days. She doesn't get them every single day, so I don't see the harm in that. So this is papaya and mango flavored treats with real fruit pieces and a creamy yogurt coating for a colorful explosion of taste and texture. Um, so a lot of people will tell you that birds are lactose intolerant, so yogurt is one of those things you don't necessarily need if they're lactose intolerant. So, but once again, just an occasional treat and she absolutely loves these. And I had started giving her these before I really knew a lot about um, yogurt not being good for birds because I've had BB since I was 18. I got her when she was a baby and she's 12 now. So, um, so she's been having these for a really long time. So she's been okay so far and she really loves them. So I don't want to take them away from her because she's doing fine at the vet. They say she's healthy and whatnot. So, and for an occasional treat, I just don't see the harm. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us for our Christmas shopping video. We would absolutely love it if you would join our flock and hit that subscribe button down below. And then please also give this video a like if you enjoyed it and leave your comment below as far as which part of the video was your favorite, which toy is your favorite. I tried to get footage of Archie picking out toys, but he was pretty cranky after he got groomed. So he wasn't really having it. So he kind of just wanted to sit on my shoulder and preen his ruffled feathers from being in a towel getting trimmed, which he's still doing now. Oh, also leave a comment down below on what toys you're planning on getting your bird for Christmas or the holidays in general if you don't celebrate Christmas. But thank you so much for joining us and see you next time. Merry Christmas.